Welcome back to another video on our channel. Join us for the latest news, insights, and updates on the Iraqi dinar. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Let's explore the world of the Iraqi dinar together. Today, we discuss a significant event reported on television where a figure named Saydani announces a grant of 4 million dinars to displaced families currently residing in camps in Iraq. This announcement is a major talking point due to the considerable number of families affected and their pressing needs. These families have endured substantial hardships, having been forced to leave their homes due to conflict, instability, or other crises that have plagued the region. The grant is intended to provide some financial relief and aid in their efforts to rebuild their lives under challenging circumstances. However, Frank, a character in the conversation, makes a critical observation about the value of this grant. He comments that 4 million dinars for displaced families is an insult at the exchange rate of 1320 but is a blessing at the rate of 1.32. To fully understand this statement, it is crucial to delve into the context of the currency exchange rate and its implications for the displaced families. The exchange rate of a currency reflects its value relative to other currencies. In this case, the exchange rates mention either 1320 and 1.32 a indicate the value of the Iraqi dinar relative to another currency, presumably the US dollar. At an exchange rate of 1320 dinars to dollar used one, the value of the dinar is significantly lower. This means that 4 million dinars would equate to a relatively small amount in US dollars. For instance, at this rate, 4 million dinars would be approximately $3,030. Given the high costs of living and the substantial needs of displaced families, this amount might be perceived as insufficient to address their needs adequately. Therefore, Frank views this grant as an insult because, despite the seemingly large number, the actual purchasing power is limited and may not significantly improve the lives of these families. On the other hand, Frank points out that the same amount of 4 million dinars would be a blessing if the exchange rate were 1.32 dinars to dollar used one. This would signify a dramatically higher value of the dinar. At this rate, 4 million dinars would equate to a substantial sum in US dollars so approximately $3,030,000. This amount would undoubtedly have a significant positive impact on the lives of displaced families providing them with ample resources to meet their immediate needs, secure better living conditions, and invest in opportunities to improve their future prospects. In this scenario, the grant would be perceived as a generous and meaningful gesture, offering real and substantial assistance to those in need. Frank's statement also serves as a broader critique of the economic situation and policies that have led to the devaluation of the Iraqi dinar. The exchange rate of a currency is influenced by various factors, including economic stability, inflation rates, foreign exchange reserves, and government policies. A high exchange rate, such as 1320 dinars to dollar used one, indicates underlying economic challenges that may include inflation, low investor confidence, and a lack of foreign reserves. These factors can erode the purchasing power of the currency, making it difficult for individuals to afford basic necessities and improve their living standards. In this context, Frank's statement may be seen as a call for addressing the root causes of the currency's devaluation to ensure that financial aid and other economic measures can be more effective in alleviating poverty and improving the well-being of vulnerable populations. Addressing these issues requires a comprehensive approach that considers both the immediate needs of displaced families and the broader economic context in which they live. In conclusion, the television scene depicting Saydani's announcement of a 4 million dinar grant to displaced families in Iraq provides a poignant illustration of the complexities involved in humanitarian aid and economic policy. Frank's observation about the value of the grant at different exchange rates highlights the critical role of currency valuation in determining the real impact of financial assistance. 
it underscores the need for economic stability and effective policies to enhance the purchasing power of the currency and ensure that aid can meaningfully improve the lives of vulnerable populations. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon.